we figured, you know, we, we can't just raise questions. We have to have clear answers to at least one of them. And the most contentious one of all was what to make of quantum gravity. So we figured at least we'd knock that one out so you can go home with one, one question t t checked off your list. So to help us with this, I'd like to ask, invite uh, Rafael Busso and Carlo Rovelli to come up here. Okay, so Rafael gets to hold the string theory card because nobody will dispute that he, Rafael has made you know, very, very important contributions to impl in implications of string theory and knows more about string theory than, than most people on, the, on this planet. So uh, we, we, we were, and they're also very good at, uh, as we've seen at the conference, spirited debating and we're going to have fun and switch. So what's going to happen is Carlo Rovelli is going to explain to us why quantum, loop quantum gravity is really, really just a pretty losing proposition and has all, has all these problems. And string theory is really the one true path forward in quantum gravity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> With a big holding up the great hero here. And, and Raphael is going to tell us, you know, actually string theory kind of sucks and, it, and it, the loop quantum gravity is the way to go. Yes. So let's have a round of applause for them to both agreeing to this awesome fact. I think you loop people um, should stop saying that you're the only guys in the only game in town because also string theory exists. String theory is right, it's correct. Exists about the best you can say for Yeah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> you have a. You know, people insist that you have a finite theory of quantum gravity, right? But we also, in string theory, have it. Uh, you insist that uh, uh, you have a fundamental length in the theory, and you can build over it, but we also, in string theory. You, you insist that you cannot get any prediction from your theory, but, you know, we can't either get any <laughs> <laughs> But string theory is superior because you didn't do any prediction at all. We at least did some predictions. They all came out wrong, but, you know, supersymmetry, <laughs> low energy supersymmetry, um, uh, modification of gravity, extra dimension, black hole at CERN. Uh, at least we try, right? You can't even think of computing the parameters of the stronger model. Well, what can you do with loop quantum gravity? You don't have the standard model in it. We can't compute the parameter of standard model either, but at least we think we could in the future. You can't even imagine that. <laughs> can't you do better than this? Uh, I can't help but, but uh, fully uh, agree with this uh, ignorant summary of of, of what loop quantum gravity has achieved. In fact, our, our achievements are stellar. Um, we have been around for about as long as string theory, but unlike string theory, we have begun to understand the emergence of space-time. We like background independence. And, and there's other things that I, I really, uh, I, you know, I'm, I like to not, to sometimes let others speak. And so here I have um, a famous book by a loop quantum gravity um, colleague of mine, uh, um, Rovileo Rovili, uh, who wrote a uh, um, who wrote a dialogue, and he puts it best, um, uh, if I can find it. Um, it is beautiful. Speaking of loop quantum gravity, obviously, uh, you talked about the beauty of string theory. The emergence of space-time as excited states, as loop and spin network states, is extremely beautiful. It is quantum theory and general relativity truly talking to each other. Now, what more? Do I need to say? I know. I can poo-poo string theory. And um, that's what I'm going to do next. So um, string theory has a long and sad history. Uh, it, it, um, it began with a pathetic attempt to understand the strong force uh, back in the 60s. Uh, people weren't even looking for quantum gravity. In fact, I think they still don't know what they're looking for. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and it, it went on. They discovered that there are gravitons in the theory. They, it looked like the theory uh, was, was automatically a quantum theory of gravity. And they got really carried away by this, even though they hadn't done the honest work that we usually do in physics, which is to build our theories from the bottom up. They just stumbled upon the thing and ran away with it. Uh, why? Because they're all ignorant particle physicists who don't understand general relativity. <laughs> and, 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 and where are we now? Where are we now? You think that depravity couldn't have escalated further, um, but it did, sadly. And, um, and, and, and what happened next was the string landscape. You all have heard about the string landscape. 
It's also known as the end of science. <laughs> uh, you really have to give it to these people. They, they, they just, you know, they do it with a straight face. And, uh, uh, well, I, there are some things I just don't want to even talk about. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you can't blame the whole community for the blackest of sheep, uh, but, but they're all pretty, yeah. Um, good. Um, so, so with that, I give it back uh, to my, I mean, there are people who I personally respect as human beings, and I do want to hear your opinion. Uh, 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 even though you've, you've contributed to the demise of Western civilization more than <laughs> many, other, uh, many others I've heard of. You said, you said the mystery theorists don't, uh, don't understand general relativity, but that's not true. In fact, it's, it's the opposite is true, because look, imagine general relativity was not known, right? We string theorists uh, could have predicted it. <laughs> imagine that young Mill theory was not known. We string theory could have predicted it. Imagine uh, young Mill theory, imagine Dirac equation was not, we would have predicted it. Imagine uh, chemistry was not, we would have predicted it. Imagine Newton force, imagine Galileo, everything we could have predicted. <laughs> In fact, we could predict everything. Look, every single consequence of uh, generality, everything is predicted. So this is the most predictive theory ever. We can predict everything and the opposite of everything. So it's a fantastic thing. It's, it's true sort of by definition, because... <laughs> now you're going to tell the story to me that, you know, falsifiability, the stupid things about Popper. No, 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 no. <laughs> there is a strong, clear, univocal prediction which really goes with the supersymmetry. And we are on the verge of discovering it. We have, been on, we, have sort of, we have been on the verge of discovering it for 25 years, right? <laughs> so just, we are even more on the verge of discovering it. <laughs> as soon as we see it, you will, have, you will realize it, that you have been wrong all your life. Yeah. Well, um, unlike string theory, uh, the, the many predictions of loop quantum gravity have actually been almost confirmed for much longer. And, uh, and are, are in fact even vergering more on the verge of being discovered tomorrow, uh, if not the day after tomorrow. And, uh, and we will then uh, finally jump up and down uh, on the rotting carcass of string theory. <laughs> uh, and, and, and watch you squirm. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, with that, uh, uh, I, 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 I close my case. Yeah, yes, yes, but, but I'm still a friend of you.